Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Anthony of Fun Balloon Twisting 101, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cool, really exciting monkey bracelet. Check it out. It only takes one balloon. He has a cute little face, has a curly tail, has a little tongue right there. <laughs> it's really cool, just one balloon, so uh, it's really fun. Let's get started. Alright. Okay, so to make the monkey bracelet, I'm going to be using my trusty balloon pump. I got a couple of Sharpie markers. I got a black Sharpie marker. Got a red Sharpie marker, and then um, just one balloon. It's a blush colored Qualitex brand balloon, size 260, and just one balloon. So, all right, let's do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some air in the balloon. You want like about a four inch tail um, when you do this. So, we're gonna put some air in there and leave like a four inch tail. Go ahead and tie it off at the end. And if you're having trouble tying the knot, at the end right here, um, I have a video. That'll show you how to tie knots, that's what I know how. So go ahead and click on the annotation right here if you need help with tying your knots. Okay, so go ahead and tie it off with the end right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a, um, a flower petal twist. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the knot right here, the, the knot of the nozzle right here. Grab the knot and we're going to pull the balloon down like that. And we want like about a three finger um, flower petal twist. So we're going to go ahead and twist this whole part off. The knot that I'm pinching right here, this knot is going to be below the twist we're about to do right now. So we'll keep holding on to it and make sure that, so that you can make sure the knot is below the twist we're about to do. Continue holding on to that nozzle. What we're going to do is we're going to pass it through. We're going to pass it through from this side all the way through to this side. So I'm going to poke my finger and thumb in there and I'm going to pass it through to the other side. That locks it into place. Okay, you're doing really good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is a one inch bubble right here. And this is going to be one of the ears. So we're going to do um, a one inch bubble right here. So nice shot of this. Okay, so go ahead and um, pull it down like this. And this bubble right here, we're going to pull it up and twist it a little bit. the ear twist. Because you should have something like this. Okay, now we're going to do the forehead. So right here, we're going to do about a two finger bubble. So you should have something like this. So right here, we're going to do a one inch bubble. Right here. Let me just something like this. Okay, so right here we're gonna hold it down like this. We hold it together. And then right here, right here we're gonna pull it up and do another ear twist. Pull it up just a little bit though, and then twist it. I should have something like this. Okay, I want the ears to be both. I want both the ears to be on top right here. So this this part right here, this ear, and right here, this flower petal twist and this ear that we did. I'm gonna like at the same time, both of them at the same time. I'm gonna shift them over like that a little bit, so that the ear will be on top like this one. So now it's like this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this together, like that, hold it together like that, and then the, this top ear, this forehead, and this other ear, well, I'm going to twist them all three at the same time. All three, I'm going to pull them up a little bit at the same time, and twist them at the same time. So all these, all three of these, the ear, the forehead, and the ear, all at the same time, I'm going to pull them up at the same time, and twist them at the same time. I should have something like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten up the ears. So I'm going to go and hold everything in place. And I'm going to um, put the ears, straighten them out.
Okay, so now we have something like this. So what you want to do now is you want to do like a um, like about a two-inch bubble right here. So now you have this. Okay, so this is the part where um, you kind of like you want to figure out the size of the bracelet you want to make. So if it's like a smaller kid, if it's like for a smaller kid, you have it like more up, more like that. But if, um, if it's someone with a bigger hand and bigger wrist, you'll leave like more room so that the, so the loop's bigger. So it's up to you to kind of eyeball it. The more you make these, the more you get used to it. Just kind of eyeball it how big you want the loop to be for the bracelet. So wherever I feel like I want the size of the bracelet to be, whether right here, whether right here, or right here, or whatever, I'm going to figure that out. And I'm going to cross it over. So I'm going to hold it in a place, hold it in a place, and this whole loop right here, this whole thing, I'm going to twist it, this whole loop. So I have something like this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is this part right here, I'm going to loop it through, I'm going to loop it through the loop, I'm going to loop it through right now. Pull it all the way through. And then I'm going to kind of move it around so it's like looped up like that. I twisted it so that it looped up like this. And so you should have something like this. Now what we're going to do is this head right here. We're going to like move the forehead, the ears, and the snout, like everything, all at the same time, the whole head the whole head, everything, all of this, I'm going to move it all like that, just so it's facing the right way now. So we've got the tail, we've got, you know, the head and everything. But this, there's still like a nipple, so we still got to like um, pull, push some air out. Kind of push some air up like that, kind of like squeeze it, squeeze it. So let's just pull the tail now. Pull it like that, and then just kind of like squeeze it and kind of manipulate it, kind of you know, move it around like that, and then it just kind of stays, and then it just stays like that. All right, now I want to show you how to draw the face. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and take the black sharpie marker, and I'm just gonna draw a circle, and I'm just gonna kind of keep going like that, get like a nice thick circle right there and then I'm gonna draw a little eyebrow then I'm gonna go ahead and do another eye like that draw a circle kinda get like a nice thick circle there like that and then draw another eyebrow so you have that and then for the snout, I'm going to draw a couple, a couple of lines, like, like that. And then I'm going to draw um, a line like this. All the way around. Like that. And now for the tongue. First, you're gonna blow on it to make sure it's dry, because you don't want the red marker to um, smear in with the um, get all smeared up with black marker. You want to make sure it's dry. So what we're gonna do is kind of like at a catty corner angle, like like right here or something. Like that. We're gonna um, draw like a, a letter U, like that, and then just a line down the middle of of that U. Like right there, and that's the tongue. So there you go. Got the tongue. <laughs> okay, so that's how you make a balloon monkey bracelet. And little kids, every, I mean, kids of all ages love them, and adults love them. You know, who doesn't love a monkey, right? So, and you can wear it, you don't have to worry about it, your hands are free, so it's all good. <laughs> so I hope you love it, hope you like it. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, Anthony, Fun Balloon Twisted 101. 
Y'all heard? Yeah. <laughs> God bless. Late. Boom. Hey. Got a real treat for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how I make my balloons last for actually over a year. Well over a year. No lie. I'm telling you the truth. I'm going to show you how I package them and where I, how I store them and everything. And then your balloons will last for over a year too. So it's really cool. You'll save a lot of money with this tip. I mean, seriously, this is really, this is just really cool. All right, let's get to it.